the globe. Interact in a trusted environment. Showcase your brand on Kalkine TV in a seamless and effective manner. We connect and curate content as per your business needs. So why wait? Write to us at guestteam at kalkine.com.au. If you're looking to keep abreast of the biggest stories from the crypto world, the fate of exchanges and crypto hedge funds during the ongoing bear market, and you're wanting to keep up to date with the best and worst performers in the altcoin space and that of flagship currencies such as Bitcoin and Ethereum, then Kalkar Media's daily crypto catch is absolutely essential viewing for you. Tune in each afternoon right here on Kalkar Media to get the latest scoop from Anchor to ZeroCoin. Technology is advancing every minute. There's almost no problem it can't solve. The tech world is solutions focused. It's focused on fixing the massive problems like pollution and climate change, as well as the more intimate, such as sleep. And indeed, it does look like sleep inducing technologies are doing wonders for people. Please subscribe to the channel. I'm Sage for Kalkai Media. Another reason just might be the growing awareness regarding the various sleep disorders that exist and problems that come along with them. Sleep tech devices are the products and gadgets that induce and enhance sleep. Their improved sensor technologies can perform various functions. For instance, it can track a person's heart rate, blood oxygen levels as well as discern a person's sleep patterns. Based on their utility, these sleep tech devices can be used in hospitals, specialty clinics, direct to consumer and more. The hospital segment alone, according to a report by Global Market Insights, has garnered over 2 billion US dollars in the market size in 2021 and is only expected to grow further. And according to the same report, the sleep tech market was valued at around 15 billion US dollars in 2021 and is expected to witness growth of around 18% compounded by 2030. Now, based on gender, the female segment is way ahead. The female segment had contributed to around US $6.2 billion in 2021. And the reasoning for this could be the fact that the female population is more prone to sleep disorders like insomnia. According to a report by Journal of Women's Health, women are at 40% more risk of developing insomnia than men. The rising awareness around the numbers has resulted in a higher demand and availability of various wearable sleep trackers. Various giant tech companies are coming forward with features similar to sleep tracking devices. For instance, in 2019, Apple Inc. launched a sleep tracking feature for the future version of its smartwatch. And other tech companies have come up with even more concepts. Now, if you like this information, do let us know. Give it a like, share, comment on the video below, subscribe to the channel. If you press the bell icon, you'll be notified every time Kalkine releases a new video. But for more articles, head to the website kalkinemedia.com. Sage here for Kalkine Media. Build better relationships, get connected, heard and noticed. We always believe in getting you the best. Kalkine Media's growing platform, Kalkine TV, helps you connect to an inquisitive audience from across the globe. Interact in a trusted environment. Showcase your brand on Kalkine TV in a seamless and effective manner. We connect and curate content as per your business needs. So why wait? Write to us at guestteam at kalkine.com.au. Are non-fungible tokens, or NFTs as they're commonly known as, only digital? Or can an NFT also represent a physical item, for example, a piece of jewellery? The digital and physical worlds are finally finding some common ground, and a new NFT collection from Tiffany's is a testament to this fusion. 
Just before we have breakfast at Tiffany's though, keep in mind that digital assets remain extremely volatile, so it's important that you conduct your own research. New York City based luxury jeweler Tiffany & Co has just released the first batch of Tiffany NFTs. Tiffany is an iconic brand with a wealthy clientele for its physical pieces owing to the high value of Tiffany's products. The brand's new NFT collection has 250 digital passes or NFTFs, which come at a predetermined price of 30 Ether or approximately 48,000 US dollars. So they're not exactly cheap. Tiffany NFTs are slightly different from your standard NFT as they benefit from an association to a physical item. Tiffany's claims that the collection can be converted into physical jewellery, making that 48k price tag that little bit more appealing. The brand has collaborated with some of the biggest NFT players on the planet, and in particular one for this project, CryptoPunk. 250 assets of Tiffany's collection will be linked to CryptoPunk assets, and a physical pendant in gold and other precious metals will also accompany it. Tiffany's has said that the minting of assets could begin on August 5 and a single user is not able to claim more than three NFTs themselves. The physical pendant will be delivered in 2023 with a gold chain. Certainly it's an interesting take on the world of NFTs and from a luxury brand no less. Inherently that will help to provide some added value to the collection. But as to how they will compete and compare with some of the existing big names such as Bored Ape Yacht Club NFTs, CryptoPunks and Beeple remains to be seen. But what about yourself? Would you invest in a Tiffany's NFT, especially knowing that you could redeem the digital pass for a physical item? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like and share. For more content, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press that bell icon. If you're looking to keep abreast of the biggest stories from the crypto world, the fate of exchanges and crypto hedge funds during the ongoing bear market, and you're wanting to keep up to date with the best and worst performers in the altcoin space and that of flagship currencies such as Bitcoin and Ethereum, then Kalkar Media's daily crypto catch is absolutely essential viewing for you. Tune in each afternoon right here on Kalkar Media to get the latest scoop from Anchor to ZeroCoin. China's growth has nearly halted in 2022. Its financial system is in crisis. And the question is whether the nation's $56 trillion banking system can still mitigate the problem. The country saw Omicron infections causing China's ruling class to employ local lockdowns throughout this year. According to China's National Bureau of Statistics, the gross domestic product grew just 0.4% year on year in the quarter until the end of June and 2.5% in the first half of the year. But the concern is, will the banking crisis in China spill over into other nations? Will it impact the world and cripple other financial systems? Well, let's find out. China's financial system is facing a major crisis and expiring the first wave of bank runs. Some banks recently froze online accounts worth 40 billion yuan or 6 billion US dollars, which affected more than 400,000 depositors. Many small and medium sized banks have run out of money, meaning customers are unable to withdraw funds. Even the four largest Chinese state owned banks have started to limit cash withdrawals, drawing the ire of locals. The financial system is also rushing to boost capital while preparing for a possible spike in bad loans. One of the largest economies in the world, China is facing an economic slowdown and a housing crisis. Many international financial institutions have downgraded China's growth estimates for 2022 to 3.5 to 4.3%. The projections are not optimistic for a 2023 rebound either. Various factors are urgently challenging China's banking regulators. These account freezing incidents are not one of a kind incidents either. The country is fighting a war on multiple fronts against financial insecurity right now, from dubious online investment schemes to an ongoing property crisis. China's real estate industry, which drives up to a third of its activity, is also on the verge of near collapse. Angry home buyers are defaulting on mortgages in more than 90 cities. 
According to Bloomberg, China's banks are facing mortgage losses of $350 billion. In China's property crisis, Asia's wealthiest woman has lost half of her $24 billion fortune. For the most part, Chinese citizens tend to throw their wealth into real estate. A drop in real estate prices thus would significantly impact the flow of cash through the country. Another problem the country faces is its high debt levels. Its debt has risen dramatically in the past decade. According to the Institute of International Finance data released in May, China's debt increased by $2.5 trillion over the first quarter. The losses in economic sectors, banks and companies could harm China's growth projects and its ambition to engage local consumers, lessening the dependency on exports. Weak Chinese growth is also likely to have a negative effect on the global economy. In 2020, China was the number one economy in the world in terms of GDP, the number one in total exports and number two in total imports. In 2020, China contributed 23.01 trillion US dollars or 18.3% of the world's 125.65 trillion gross domestic product, which means that the slowdown in its economy adversely affects the whole world. But by the same token, it's good news on the geopolitical front. A weakened China economically lessens their power on the world stage, which is important at a time of high tension. If you're looking to keep abreast of the biggest stories from the crypto world, the fate of exchanges and crypto hedge funds during the ongoing bear market, and you're wanting to keep up to date with the best and worst performers in the altcoin space and that of flagship currencies such as Bitcoin and Ethereum, then Kalkine Media's daily crypto catch is absolutely essential viewing for you. Tune in each afternoon right here on Kalkine Media to get the latest scoop from Anchor to ZeroCoin. A bear market is when a market experiences prolonged declines. It's defined as a fall of 20% or more from recent highs. It can also be implied as a symbolic psychological hurdle for investors, often pointing towards a recession. Most investors tend to pull out their money from the markets to avoid further losses as soon as they see their portfolios turning red. But that's not necessarily advisable unless you absolutely need the money. In fact, veteran investors treat bear markets as fantastic opportunities to build wealth in the long term. Seasoned investors always know how to handle these swings and they focus more on growing their money during such times. Smart investors either hold cash or reinvest in more stable financial instruments to trim the exposure in equities as soon as they sense bears approaching. But it's a bit of a gamble too, as you can miss out on the gains by selling all investment holdings once the market rebounds. So you should tread ahead with proper planning and advice. One can also spread their investments among equities, debt, cash and other financial assets. It's highly important to consider one's risk tolerance, time horizon and goals before planning for diversification. A similar diversification strategy cannot be applicable for all since every investor has a different mindset and strategy. Long-term investors can also bank on the dollar cost averaging strategy during bear markets. Investors can buy shares irrespective of price and end up buying shares at a low price when the market is bearish. The cost would average down as the time proceeds. This way investors can eventually have a better overall entry price for their shares. Well, with all that being said, one should always remember that markets are absolutely unpredictable and volatile. Therefore, caution should be practiced at every point. Now, if you like the information in this video, you can like, share and comment on it. You can also share it with your friends and you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also press the bell icon for notifications for our latest videos. I'm Rachel for Calcine Media. If you're looking to keep abreast of the biggest stories from the crypto world, the fate of exchanges and crypto hedge funds during the ongoing bear market, 
and you're wanting to keep up to date with the best and worst performers in the altcoin space and that of flagship currencies such as Bitcoin and Ethereum, then Kalkar Media's daily crypto catch is absolutely essential viewing for you. Tune in each afternoon right here on Kalkar Media to get the latest scoop from Anchor to ZeroCoin. NFT Corner, how are Lululand and Alien, a secret society NFTs, faring? The allure of blockchain-based non-fungible tokens or NFTs is refusing to die down. Although cryptocurrencies have lost massive value in 2022, new NFT launches have kept enthusiasts busy. A few of the new NFT collections belong to big names like actor Bill Murray and singer Madonna. Nickelodeon NFTs were also released last month and assets linked to famous jewellery brand Tiffany's are also on the block now. However, let us today explore two collections linked to relatively less popular and entirely new brands. The names are Lululand and Alien Secret Society. Let's explore. Lululand World NFTs. Lululand is a digital city that exists in the wider metaverse of the Sandbox. It bills itself as an advertising solution in Web 3.0. And besides being an immersive space with games, virtual land and digital assets, Lululand began minting its Genesis Premium passes in May this year. The pass holders could win digital in-game items like Lulu's World. And last week, Lululand also held an AMA short for Ask Me Anything, which had giveaways like Lululand's Village House NFTs. It is notable that a seemingly separate set of NFTs, which should not be confused with Lululand, is available on Binance's NFT platform. It's titled Lulu Market Limited Land, and it provides land NFTs of Lulu Market. Alien Secret Society NFTs next. Are they expensive? This project builds itself as an exclusive business club, also dubbed A$$. The project seems to have followed in the footsteps of CryptoPunk and Bored Ape Yacht Clubs. In Alien Secret Society NFTs, which are 9,999 in number, are linked to alien characters with their uniqueness based on traits. It is being claimed that some of these alien NFTs would provide privileges like access to exclusive events within the A$$ dollar sign dollar sign club. The project is using the services of Ethereum for the minting of NFTs. For now, Alien Secret Society assets are trading on OpenSea after their initial minting and public sale in December of 2021. The floor price of the assets on OpenSea's marketplace is 0.04 ETH as of writing and this is a very low compared to the prices at which the assets of CryptoPunk and the other big names like Beeple have traded for. So the bottom line, Lululand World NFTs were released in May 2022, but the collection could not make an impact like Beeple's or PAX, unfortunately. Well, not yet anyway. A separate Lulu market project is also selling land NFTs and its success or failure will become clear in the coming months. We'll just have to wait and see. On the other hand, Alien Secret Society NFTs seem to have failed in attracting high bids from enthusiasts. Thanks for joining us on this report. Now, if you like the information, give it a like, share or comment below and subscribe to the channel by pressing the bell icon. You'll be notified every time there's a new video from Kalkine. But for more articles, head to the website, kalkinemedia.com. My name's Sage for Kalkine Media. If you're looking to keep abreast of the biggest stories from the crypto world, the fate of exchanges and crypto hedge funds during the ongoing bear market, and you're wanting to keep up to date with the best and worst performers in the altcoin space and that of flagship currencies such as Bitcoin and Ethereum, then Kalkine Media's daily crypto catch is absolutely essential viewing for you. Tune in each afternoon right here on Kalkine Media to get the latest scoop from Anchor to ZeroCoin. The crypto world is riddled with multiple controversies. On one hand, big shots like Warren Buffett and Bill Gates have denounced crypto assets over separate occasions. And on the other hand, high stake hacks have resulted in losses. Please subscribe to the channel, Sage here for Kalkai Media. 
One of the most famous cryptocurrency hacks is the January 2018 heist, which involved nearly 23.8 million US dollars theft from the digital vault of crypto entrepreneur Michael Turpin himself. The mastermind behind the hack was Ellis Pinsky, also dubbed as a teenage crypto kingpin. Let's find out more about this hack in detail. The hack by Ellis Pinsky. It's said that the hack was perpetrated by multiple hackers working from Europe and the US. With Pinsky as the mastermind, the modus operandi reportedly involved the US of SIM swapping techniques, wherein the identity of the real holder of the SIM card is forged. Michael Turpin's handset, a BlackBerry phone, had the digital vault that stored cryptos. And Turpin sued Ellis Pinsky and other accomplices in 2020 and reportedly sought 71.7 million US dollars in damages. In a related suit, Turpin had secured a civil judgment in his favour in 2019 from a California state court. A suit for damages instituted by Turpin against service provider AT&T was dismissed by a California state judge back in 2020. So who is Ellis Pinsky? It was reported that Pinsky was only 15 years old when the hack occurred. His mother is a physician at the NYU Langone and Pinsky had interests in gaming. It was also reported that subsequent to the lawsuit by Turpin, some men broke into the home of Pinsky with a motive to extract information on stolen cryptos. A suburban New Yorker, Pinsky is stated to have led the team of hackers that breached Turpin's phone. And this is why he is sometimes referred to as the teenage crypto kingpin and even baby Al Capone. A detailed story of the hack by Ellis Pinsky and the following events are recounted in an article available on Apple's news platform. The article also talks about Pinsky's side of the story and how they allegedly spent the money. And meanwhile, in the crypto world, the biggest digital asset Bitcoin is trading at almost half its value as compared to its price at the start of this year. So to sum up, this cautionary tale, Pinsky's hacking episode is one of many such events that have rocked the world of digital currencies based on the blockchain tech. What made Pinsky stand out was his age. I mean, 15 years of age, pulling off a multi-million dollar heist? Who would have thought? Thanks for joining us on this report. Now, if you do like the information, give it a like, share, comment on the video below, subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon, and you'll be notified of the latest videos from Calkine. But for more articles like this, do head to the website calkinemedia.com. My name's Sage for Calkine Media. If you're looking to keep abreast of the biggest stories from the crypto world, the fate of exchanges and crypto hedge funds during the ongoing bear market, and you're wanting to keep up to date with the best and worst performers in the altcoin space and that of flagship currencies such as Bitcoin and Ethereum, then Calcine Media's daily crypto catch is absolutely essential viewing for you. Tune in each afternoon right here on Calcine Media to get the latest scoop from Anchor to ZeroCoin. Welcome to a special edition of Expert Talks by Calkine TV. I'm Sage. Today's guest is from the world of blockchain games. Amos Whitewolf, co-founder of Perion.gg. And play-to-earn games could be the driving force behind the mainstream adoption of cryptocurrency. Games such as Axie Infinity are created in the tradition of Pokemon. And they are play-to-earn games that rose exponentially in popularity last year. Tesla is even making it possible to play blockchain games in their vehicles. So Amos will share insights from the sector, co-founding his own game development company and from his journey of being a former Axie Infinity champion player. Welcome to the show, Amos. Hey Sage, how are you doing? Good, thank you. Uh, so glad that you could join us. Could we start off by you sharing the mission behind your innovative brand, please? Yeah, so Paranon aims to essentially through, as you said, like through Axie Infinity, um, uh, we've brought, a, uh, Axie Infinity has brought a lot of people into the crypto space. So MetaMask last year, the majority of their new people onto their product were from the Philippines. Um, 
and that was primarily because of Axie Infinity. So how we see Perion is essentially like a bridge from Web2 to bring more people into Web3 through gaming. And it won't just be Axie Infinity gaming, it'll be all of the kind of new Web3 games that are coming up um, every single day. There's a huge amount of them coming uh, into the fold. Um, and we are essentially a kind of high level esports team within the Web3 esports space. Um, and yeah, we're, we're looking to onboard a huge amount of people into these games and then further to the crypto ecosystem so they can start using all of the amazing DeFi products that are in crypto and that, that whole kind of thing. Sounds like a great initiation. And I think at the moment the stats are like 18% of Australians are either earning crypto or involved in crypto in some way.